Hello there, I'm Gary Sims from Andrew Authority. Now it's been such lovely weather here, I thought I'd come out from the studio and do my next video here about the Google Voice Kit out in my garden. Now, if you remember, I did a video a little while back about how you could take a Raspberry Pi and use the software from Google, which they have for their voice kit, and modify it to use a normal speaker and a normal USB microphone, and how you could therefore get a kind of a, your own homemade digital assistant. Now, once I made that video, Google very kindly contacted me and they sent me a proper Google voice kit. Now, these were really hard to get hold of, so thank you very much, Google. If you have a look inside the box here, here you have all the bits, the speaker, the big button on the top, okay, and all the other bits, and I'm gonna give you this, uh, we're gonna assemble this together, and we're gonna see what it does. So if you wanna know all about the Google voice kit, please let me explain. So there are several stages to getting the voice kit working. First, we need to actually assemble the hardware, then you need to install the software, then you need to configure Google's cloud services, and then finally, you need to test it. Now, assembling the hardware is fairly straightforward. Google give a whole bunch of instructions over at the Google Voice uh, website. If you get stuck at all, just look at the photographs and just check to see that you're doing the right thing. I wouldn't consider myself a hardware expert, but I managed to get this together fairly simply. Now the software for the Google Voice Kit is provided by Google itself. Now all of the links and all the actual details, the step-by-step -step details you're gonna find in the article that accompanies this um, uh, video that's over on the andrewauthority.com website. I really recommend you following the steps there. But in broad strokes, what you need to do, you need to download that image and uh, write it onto an, an SD card and then boot your Raspberry Pi with of course a mouse, keyboard and monitor connected to it. And once your Raspberry Pi boots up, you will see the fairly standard Raspberry Pi desktop, but you'll notice that the wallpaper has been replaced by Google. And while you're there on your Raspberry Pi, you're gonna to need to configure access to Secure Shell. You do that by going to the menu and then finding the Raspberry Pi configuration program, go to interfaces and then make sure that SSH is enabled. And you also need to make sure that your network is configured, go up to the Wi-Fi sign up on the top right-hand corner by the clock and configure your Wi-Fi network. Now the reason you need your Raspberry Pi connected to the internet is because a lot of the heavy lifting is done using Google's cloud services. So to get this Google Assistant working on the Raspberry Pi, you're going to need to uh, connect to and configure a cloud services account over at Google. Now all the details on how you do this are found uh, in this article and also Google have published them on the uh, Voice Kit website. And again, there are links over at the article for that. Basically what you need to do is go over there, you log in, you create a new project, you enable the Google Assistant API for that project. You need to create some credentials for logging in so that it knows that your Raspberry Pi is authorized to log into your account. And you do that by creating some OAuth credentials and you then download the JSON file which has those credentials in and you put them on your Raspberry Pi renaming the file to assistant.json. And once you've done that, it should work with the Google's, Google's cloud services. And now that you've got it all together, hardware, software, cloud services, the only thing left to do is to test it. How many kilometers in a mile? One mile equals 1.609 kilometers. Who is the CEO of Google? The CEO of Google is Sundar Pichai. Please sing me a song. I'm singing you a song because songs are great and songs make you happy. This is a song for you. How many ounces in a kilogram? One kilogram equals 35.274 ounces. And so there we have it, the Google Voice Kit. It's a great device if you want to just play around with Google's voice recognition services, build your own things, just using a Raspberry Pi, which is really easy to get hold of. Uh, if you want to do prototyping, maybe you're actually building a proper product, then all this is just a great way of getting into digital assistance and into voice recognizing. So really a thumbs up to Google for making this accessible to everybody from amateur to professional. 
I'm Gary Sims from Android Authority and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Android Authority's YouTube channel, hit that notification bell, and also go over to androidauthority.com because we are your source for all things Android.